everyone, it's Courtney with Courtney Tech and I'm here to talk about week how week two went and how week three is going. So um, at the end of the video, I will just talk a little bit about different roles that you can go into in the tech world that aren't necessarily web developer if you find that web development isn't for you. Okay, so for now, let's just talk about last week. Last week went a little bit better and smoother than week one when it came to time management. I really found my groove and what works for me. And um, I definitely like to get my workout in. If I get my workout in, I don't worry about it later on and I'm able to just focus on doing what's in front of me, whether that's coding, hosting, or studying what to do when it comes to web development. So definitely recommend getting a workout in or meditation or yoga, whatever you're into in your daily life so that you don't feel like you're in a little bubble. And I feel like as a remote person, you do kind of feel like you're in a little bubble by yourself. So uh, that's definitely something I'd recommend. Um, I was also asked about the application process. I do have answers to that on videos that I did uh, before. So you might wanna check out the videos I've done uh, one today and then one last week. But um, just to reiterate, the application process for everyone else is going to be a little different than what it was like for us because we are the first cohort. There's only three of us and there's going to be probably like 20 at a time of you. So they are weeding out people because there's been so many submissions um, by using different uh, uh, things like an assessment. You are going to be doing a coding assessment on, I think it's Hacker Rank or Hack Ranker. Um, and what they're going to do is see what you do know when it comes to coding, if you um, can problem solve, and if you can, that's a big plus in their books. And then also, we did two interviews, so you'll probably do two interviews with both Oliver and Francis. And then um, you do not have to work with them. I get that question a lot. You can work remote. You can put that you are not open to moving. They're going to probably pick some people that can move and some people that cannot. Just I'm in um, Los Angeles, I live in Beverly Hills, and they're in San Francisco. So I put that I do not want to be remote. I mean, I do not want to work there. I would rather work where I am, um, So and I'm in the program. So I don't want you guys to worry about that. All right, moving on. This week I'm working on JavaScript and I'm still trying to figure out how to host on two of the platforms, AWS, S3 buckets. I've kind of had a few sticky points. So that's what I'm doing this week. It's Wednesday now, so I'm hoping to have that resolved by the end of the week. But in the meantime, I've basically been splitting time between figuring out what's not working with my hosting and learning um, JavaScript or practicing JavaScript and the challenges. That's what I've been doing this week. So in week three, we're already moving on into JavaScript. And he said, um, Oliver, that he thinks it'll be about two weeks in the JavaScript world for us, the three that are in the program right now. And then we're gonna move on from there. Um, and then we'll do some Python, some Bootstrap, and, and then we'll work on real world projects, which means companies will actually give them projects and we, the cohort, will be the ones working on it. So that's pretty cool to put in our portfolio. Something you have to look forward to. Um, also, I have been asked to help on assessments with people and I really cannot do that because the point is to see how you all problem solve on your own and how you use resources, the internet, tutorials and things like that to solve the problems. Uh, I wouldn't say that this program is meant for true beginners. I would say it's for somebody with a little bit of coding experience or before the assessment, you learned a little bit and then you took the assessment. That's what I would recommend because um, the, it's just really quick. You're just really quick into the code. So if you have never even seen code, it's going to be frustrating for you. And I, I don't even think you'd get picked. So like in my last video, I said, I recommend you just starting to watch tutorials on HTML, CSS, and just start there. And then maybe do a little project. It doesn't even have to be cute. Just something where you put the code on the page and it's now online somewhere. That's it. Um, that's what I recommend. Um, let's see. So let's move on to what jobs you could do other than web development. So I got into web development 
out of, I kind of went back and forth. I started with a programming class, made a cute little video game that was fun, but then I went into graphic design and web design, and then I went into UX design because in order at the school I went to, to get into UX, you had to do graphic design. So you had to learn typography and sketch and uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, and um, graphic design one and two to get into UX. So um, I had taken all those, except for typography is the only one I didn't take. And then I went to UX design. I really liked UX design, but I really, really hated that I didn't know how to code as good, you know, as other people. So I, I decided to start learning to code more since I was like, I have a few skills of UX under my belt and design. So now I'm gonna move into the coding world, which is where I'm at now. And that's how I ended up in that boot camp and ended up here in modern labor. So, um, like I said, you could become a UX designer, you could become a web designer, you can become a project manager, you can become a content manager. There is just so many things. So let's start with UX. UX is the study of how humans interact with technology, like an app or a website, and trying to make the most um, user-friendly environment with your product, whether it's a website or an app, and that people will stay on your page and come back to your page and use it again rather than going to another site. So you're really studying why people stay and trying to implement that into other people's technology to make sure that they can get the most um, traffic and people that are returning uh, traffic too as well. Uh, web design obviously is the look and feel, the color scheme of the website. Um, you can also, you kind of work together with the UX person. And so if you're into that and you're more into like the aesthetics of it and how pretty it is, you might want to go into web design. There's also project management, which is the person who oversees the entire team and they, they are communicating with the client as well as everybody in the team. So if you like to be a more manager role and you want to do a little less coding, but you always like to be putting your hands in different pots, that would be good for you. There's content manager. The content manager is the person that's making sure that the content is uh, th there for the site or app or whatever, and it looks good, and you have everything that you need that the client wants on their site or app. Um, there is also, I feel like I'm missing someone. If I'm missing someone, let me know in the comments. But um, those are some other options, just in case you decide later on, like maybe web development's not for me. And you, th those other roles don't have as much coding involved or any. So there's some techie jobs for you. I have a few friends now that actually have become UX designers and they actually thought I would become one, but instead I decided to go on the deep end and develop. So here I am. So uh, that's a summary. Next week I'll have more feedback on how JavaScript is going, what I recommend for tips for learning JavaScript, and my frustrations and why I pulled my hair out this week and all that stuff. So feel free to subscribe and leave a comment of things you want to talk about and I'll answer them, okay? Thank you for watching and um, I have another video for a little bit of the tips for the assessment that I just posted today too, so you might want to check that out. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.